hey, what are you guys doing here? Hi. Hello. Um, Shubhashi, you're just showing around the classrooms. You know, we, we're new, we haven't seen them. So, uh, what about you setting up lab? Yes, just set up the lab space, finalizing things. Mm. All of us are doing that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, I heard you're taking a PhD student. Yes. So, what are you looking for? Well, I think we need a PhD student who's passionate mm. and excited about research. You know, they're going to spend the next five years doing something, they need to feel for it. Mm. I do a lot of work on looking at sexual selection, dimorphism, why males look so showy. <laughs> you know, they should be excited about such kind of work. Yeah, like you, mm -hmm. like you are very excited about your work. So. You've got to be passionate, otherwise you can't do this. Mm. What about you? What are you looking for? Well, uh, I think I'll take some hints from you, but otherwise I have to uh, sleep on it. And uh, sleep reminds me of somebody who's researching on sleep. So I hear Krishna is taking a student too. I am. So, I really hope to. And sleep is really good for you. Yeah. People should be getting more sleep. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's that. I think the students yeah. will be uh, will be happy to hear that. Hopefully. So what are you looking for? You know, I think really the number one has to be curiosity. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really curious about, about science. It's part of the reason why we all got into science. Yeah. Because we're curious to learn more things. And we study flies from Sofla. Sofla can learn too, and so I think people should learn. So number two is probably adaptability. Hmm. So you have to be willing to try different things. And if you know you go down a road and it turns out eh, maybe you need to change tack midway, sometimes hmm. you need to adapt. Our flies adapt and we should adapt too. Hmm. And I think the last one is probably patience. Yeah, that I agree. Yeah. This is a bit of a long road. Mm. And be a little patient. Yeah. Kind of be sprinting from, from work to Yeah. So let's ask Shubhashi. Shubhashi has some uh, students. So let's ask him what he likes and doesn't like. Yeah, so I have students. So, you know, as I'm working with the as an interface of biology, physics, and chemistry, I have students from all the dis different disciplines. So what I what I look for is that, you know, how the students is strong with his own discipline. So if somebody is coming from the biology department, he should know about biology, not about the physics thing. The rest of the things I kind of teach them. And as I'm kind of doing like, you know, cutting in single molecule techniques, uh, so I, I definitely need to teach them uh, all these things from the scratch. Yeah, let's 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 catch up with Bitu. Let's see what he's looking for. Yeah, let's call Bitu. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, so I think I would want the same things that everybody else uh, says they were, they're looking for in a PhD student. Somebody who's uh, really just excited um, about um, research. Uh, who's really interested in, in neuroscience and in, in behavior, uh, in ecology, in evolution. So I'm interested in how all of these um, processes work together. Um, and I think you need to be, I think nothing else matters. I know that very often PhD programs look for a certain amount of pre-existing skill, technical skill or familiarity with the material or um, test scores. I, I really think none of that matters. I mean, only thing that matters is enthusiasm and sustainability of that enthusiasm over a five-year PhD um, program. Uh, and I think I'm now especially interested in uh, getting, um, uh, in, in finding students who are interested in doing electrophysiology in my lab, interested in seeing how behavior is produced uh, by neurons in, um, in insects. Um, and we're specifically looking at how communication happens in insects, so how languages uh, and, and um, you know, signals are sent and received by insects to convey a message. 